Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last video, we met up with Nehru who got kidnapped by Varen because of course it had to happen. And then we had to go to the past to get a shovel so we can get to the Maku tree in the past because she died in the present because something was happening in the past. She's not dead in the past yet, but whatever. We needed a reason to go to the past. <laughs> so now let's go. Now we get our tutorial dungeon. Which is still easy despite this being the more puzzle oriented game. See? We had to push a block. Very simple. We have to push another block. Again, simple. We have some keys which are for some reason always a royal pain to hit. Just kill these guys and go this way to do yet another set of block puzzles. But this one has more movement. There is no wrong way to do it because you can only push these in one specific way. And now we have to traverse these pits to get the chest. See, this is very simple stuff. It's not showing its puzzle elements that much yet. It's still quite satisfied with being in a simple tutorial dungeon, basically. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hi, Keys. I don't like you. Let's go this way. Okay. Well, actually, this one is a little more puzzle-oriented. There we go, see? A little more thought already. More thought than honestly anything within like the first two dungeons of Oracle of Seasons. And look, another heart piece. So there, we, we did some block puzzles. Yay, block puzzles. They're fun, you love them. I should get a shield out there. This is the guy Fair was talking about. Get him! No! Leave me alone! What's with you? Keep clear! Get him! Wow! You are so daring and cool! Th thank you! Who are you? <coughs> Link! What a nice name! In the Maku tree, you were prey. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ambie to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never, ever forget it. And I promise, I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do. <laughs> Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. Dear! Uh, uh, when I grow up, I'm going to be a bride! <sighs> I said it! <coughs> Great, and why am I hurting my voice so much? I used to be able to do this kind of stuff. Oh! Whatever shall I do, I seem to have lost technique. Hi. It's so foggy! I forget it so much! Uh, you! You're... Link! Link! Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you! Don't you remember? Hundreds of years ago? Link, you promised! When I grow up, I'll marry you! That's what you said, Link! Uh, Four hundred years I waited! I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here. Why won't you listen to me? <coughs> Fine. You want to talk about Varen, right? Maybe Varen is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of impure hearts gains the power of shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. 
That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Farron can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Link, you must stop Varen and save Nehru. Must I say it again? No. I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time here in Labrina to be Varen. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't be Varen if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disrupts, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything! And you'll be able to stop Farron! Please do this, Link! First, I want you to go to your graveyard in the east. I hear the first essence is there. I can't do much, but take this! The ember seeds in this seed satchel will offer light in dark places and burn small trees from your path. Yes, this time we get it before the first dungeon, so you know the first dungeon will have something else. Also, I'm really, like, straining my voice now. I don't know why. This used to be relatively easy for me to do, but I just can't seem to get my voice up there anymore right now. It keeps making my voice tickle as well. My throat. Which is not good. <sighs> I wish I could do a better job with it right now. <coughs> Alright, well, let's just take a quick look around this area. No way! It's too scary! It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree! Shut up! It's no good if you get scared! Besides... It, it might come out... The, the ghost... <laughs> Bye, kids! You shouldn't be in a graveyard anyway. There's a heart piece we can't get yet. Pity! Oh well, uh, there's stuff to burn. Here's the stairs. Oh, uh, we gotta light some torches. See? Light torches. It's a torch puzzle! So hard! Give me that key. Alright, we can go to the first dungeon now. Hooray! It's taking a little more effort to get to even the first dungeon than the Oracle of Seasons first dungeon trek. We'll be fine, though. Let's just go up and about, and we use the key here. Perfect! Alright, let's keep moving onwards. That's where the witch lives in this one. We can't get to her right now. But we can go into the first dungeon of the game. Yes! Welcome to the Spirit's Grave. Our first dungeon and I already forgot which way I should be going <laughs> I haven't played this game in a long time I'm gonna go this way uh, no we go this way later but I think you can guess what dungeon item we're already gonna get in this dungeon let's just kill some uh, Zoles and gels there's a chest we can't get and a block puzzle that's easy and an introduction to another type of block puzzle we'll be running into later on in the game and here's the map. Yay, map. It's not terribly... I guess it looks kind of big, but it is only one floor, at least. <laughs> With these kind of blocks, you need to push them in so that the torch is lit in the proper color. And oh, what's up here, actually? Yep. All right, we're going to have to do that puzzle again. The compass. Uh, I can't get in that way yet. Oh, no, wait, we can burn this. There we go, yeah. Little trickster moment right there. You don't need bombs, you just need ember seeds. This allows us to at least get this uh, chest, which holds... Hey, a ring! We can't use it yet, but we'll get it appraised at some point. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So, yeah. <clears throat> This dungeon is still pretty darn basic, but it does have slightly more thought going into it than Oracle Seasons' this first dungeon. <clears throat> but the puzzles won't really get up there until the uh, second dungeon. Then we actually get a couple of uh, trickster moments. 
Uh, there's no chest here, right? No, there isn't. There is a chest in the next room, though. <clears throat> oh, look, let's kill him. <clears throat> the key is mine. There was no puzzle. They probably want you to think there was, though. And now we're over this way. So now we can go up here and use our key to move on. There's another chest in this room. Mount to have the key. You're not really making me search that hard. It's, it's, this is a rather linear dungeon, but at least it's got a little bit of its own atmosphere going on. With the little eerie music and the uh, haunted theme. It is a little something. It is a little more memorable. The dungeons generally have a little more character in this one. Than in Oracle of Seasons. They feel more like their own unique identity. And here we got some uh, more block puzzles. <clears throat> so we need to move these blocks to get to these switches. For the chest and a platform. It's not hard once again. This is a simple first dungeon all the same. <clears throat> but yeah, we did have to go this way. <clears throat> so, you do have to look around a little more at least. You need to branch off now and then. <clears throat> Alright, here's another block puzzle. You have to push it this way or you'll never be able to get over here. What's in here though? <clears throat> it's not a key. A Gasha Seed. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, now we have to time this. Great. There we go. We made it. Hooray. Alright, we're gonna go this way first. Yeah, because straight up leads to the boss. Let's find our mini boss. A giant genie who will summon tiny genies to try and slow you down. And if you get caught by one... Well, then you're probably going to get attacked by the Gini. Eh, doesn't hurt much though, so you can kind of just wail at it. It's a very simple mini-boss. It looks kind of cool though. I'll give it that. Ooh. Moblins with boomerangs? They don't look like Garayas. So why does he have... Why does he have boomerangs? They're supposed to have arrows! Ah! I'm following Zelda 1 logic here. Oop, another block puzzle. Lots of block puzzles. Not terribly complex, but uh, still more than one Oracle of S Seasons had. Can't get that yet. Don't worry, we'll be able to get it soon. Oh, wait. First we gotta do a torch puzzle. Did it! And here's our dungeon item! The power bracelet! Did you guess this was going to be it? If so, congratulations, you get a smile. You can't see my smile, but I gave you a smile. You're welcome. <clears throat> there we go. Imagine if more Zelda games had a haunted theme for the first dungeon. Particularly a 3D Zelda. Ooh, look, it's puzzle time! Now we have to push pots around. And wouldn't you know it, the first chest we saw is the one that has the boss key. Go figure. I want that rupee, thank you. Alright, there. Uh, that's... That's it, we just go to the boss now. This is actually a very short dungeon. Still decent enough as a first dungeon, though. Do we have an art puzzle to solve? Mm, no. So let's just go fight our boss. His name is Pumpkinhead. He will run around, try and like jump on you or shoot these bullets at you in three-way shots. What you have to do is you gotta get rid of the body, and then once you get rid of the body, you can pick up the head to reveal the true bean inside. You then have to try and hit him before he gets back inside his body. There we go, he only has four hit points, so spin attacks can kill him really fast. Kind of a cool first boss. Not terribly complicated, but takes more effort than Aquamentus. 
There we go, the first dungeon. Very simple, but... The aesthetic is kind of a nice idea. Even if it can't really do much with it, just due to it being the first dungeon. <clears throat> with that dungeon one's taken care of, with time to spare still. <clears throat> it's me, the Maku Tree! I hear a nest insect in the western woods. Can you go there? <clears throat> it's like I got something clocking in my throat. It's annoying. Up, oh, maple time! You want to give me the heart piece right off the bat? I would love that. Well, fudge. At least it's not the heart piece, or I'd really be annoyed. Oh, she wants a book. It wasn't that annoying. I couldn't get the potion. Oh, well, it's early in the game. I probably don't need it anyway. Someone finally came! This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Okay. There. Hello. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks. Oh, nothing for me? Oh, okay. Oh, hi. You came out! Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it! I hope you can reach the afterworld soon, too. Uh, not that soon! <laughs> Anyways, this starts the trade quest of the game. And uh, this one, I think, is a little harder to f figure out than, you know, Oracle Seasons. And hey, this ghost wasn't here before. Hello there. Do you believe what you see? If you do, I'll tell you something. Do you? Yes. I'm in Holly John's graveyard, and it's but one grave with no flowers. If you tell the one inside the grave the secrets I'm about to tell you, something good will happen, understand? Yes! Okay. This is another thing about the Linked game. You can find these little, uh, um, secret codes that you have to tell to a specific NPC in the other Oracle game. You do that, you then get a small little objective you gotta do for that NPC, and once you do, you'll get another code that you can tell in Oracle of Ages to get a nice item. And there's a few of these in the game. So I'm gonna have to be taking pictures of all these codes, and eventually I'll use them. I won't use this right away, because I don't want to keep slowing down the pacing of the game to get this stuff. I'll get a few of these codes, and then I will start focusing on actually doing them. But for now, um, we're going to try and get a little farther into the game, try and get more codes so I don't keep stopping everything just to get it. Uh, let's appraise the ring we found. Maybe It's probably not even good, but... Hey. Oh, I have two rings. Oh, I didn't know that. <gasps> That's actually fantastic! It's what I wanted! You take more damage, but who the flip-floop cares? I have five hearts! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I got that right away! I'm equipping this! Yes! <clears throat> For curiosity's sake, let's get a couple more rupees and see what's actually in the other ring. After all, it's getting too late to really progress in the game. The least I might as well just grind up rupees if the game will give me them. Oh no, it's not gonna give me them. That's not good. Uh, shovel. I have a shovel. Let's let's just dig for money. Oh, what? Not even that's gonna help. Oh come on! Shoveling usually gets you profit. What is this? No, I don't want hearts. Okay, that's one rupee. Okay, thank you. Shouldn't have taken that long. Goodness. Oh, let's restock there. 
And because it's a linked game, it doesn't feel the need to tell me what the Ember Seeds do. Or maybe it's because you already have Ember Seeds. I don't know. Oh well. What do you have for me? I'll, uh, give me more power? Oh, uh, nah, I don't need that. We're sticking to our power ring. Okay, and, um... That will do it for today's video. We will go towards the woods, or maybe even start the trade quest next video. Until then, this has been Tailspin109, and have a nice day!